Yo, what is up everybody, and welcome back to the channel. Today, instead of some PGA stuff, we actually have a new series we're going to do on this channel, and that is a Detroit Pistons franchise. Kind of a rebuild, they have a lot of young talent, not a whole lot of resources other than that, but they have a ton of young talent. So I think it'd be a lot of fun to hop in and do a franchise with them. Now I am going to do a little tiny baby disclaimer, and that is I'm not that great at NBA 2K. So this whole process will be a learning process for sure, like getting the franchise mode down and getting like dribbling and shooting good and all that will be a process. But we're going to be doing the franchise for the Detroit Pistons here. And if you're interested, we're going to be playing some my team and also some my player over at twitch.tv slash respawn tv so let's hop in to the franchise and let's see what we got with the detroit pistons roster right now so here's what we're looking at with the roster jeremiah grant is the best player on the team rookie cade cunningham who is has the potential to be an absolute superstar uh is a second best player and if you just look at really just this entire roster they are extremely young, extremely young with a ton of potential, which is why I think this could be a lot of fun. We could run into some salary issues, of course, later down the line. But for right now, let's just have fun with this because the average age of this team is like 25 years old, maybe. Probably actually even less than that. We only have three guys at the age of 30 or older, uh, and everybody else is pretty much 25 or younger. So this has the potential to be a ton of fun now, i am running a pure rpg based uh franchise mode so there's going to be a lot of like conversations and roles and there's going to be the full staff and budgets and all of that stuff so what you'll see here is just kind of a recap of any simulation that i've done uh, every single video we put out and then I'll hop in and I'll play a game. I will be player locking just for the sake of time. And probably I'll be player locking mostly Cade Cunningham, but I'll probably switch it up just depending on how I'm feeling that day. So this being the first time that we have loaded into the franchise, um, there is a ton of just like stuff that we need to do in order to, you know, kick the season off. So first thing is this all new staff system that they've added. You have the entire uh, front office. You have coaching staff with like big man's posty perimeter wing whisperer. You also have all of your scouts. You can do as many scouts as you want. You can have no foreign scouts if you don't want any foreign scouts um, and just do domestic scouting. You can do that as well. Um, and then you have a full sports medicine. You have your overall team doctor, strength trainer, stamina, sports psyche, um, sports science, physio and sleep doctor. Like there are a lot, a lot, a lot of options for your entire like staff um, in the game this year. And each one helps with us. We don't have a ton of budget to put towards staff right now. So I'm going to try to fill this out as best as I can. I'm probably not going to be able to fill every single spot. Uh, I'm going to start with just getting the coaching staff done. Uh, I'm probably going to have to save a little bit of money and not be able to get the best coaching staff but hopefully the better we do and the more you know the the young talent that we have improves more money we can throw into our staff entirely so we'll start with the coaching staff and we'll just uh kind of go through and see what we can work with because right now we have 3.08 million that's it to work with to fill out the entire staff so like when you go into this you can see like what all of their, the badges that you get with them. You can see what you can get for like charisma, analytics, legwork, influence, organizing. So you kind of want to pick a coach that fits that specific thing that you're looking to do. So for a big man coach, uh, I'm going to be looking for somebody who has a little bit more of an offensive prowess so we have it we have it sorted by offense and you can you can actually hire any one of these people um that you want there's some that they're looking for a set position but i could hire somebody's looking for a head coach i can hire them as a, a big man and it's a little bit expensive like this guy wants 800k which just eats into the total budget we have because you saw how many spots i have open so we kind of have to be smart with who we pick 
and where we're putting our money to try to fill out as much of the staff as we possibly can. But this guy is actually not too bad. You know, he has he's offensive, he's defensive. You know, it's straight across the board average, essentially. And he's a big man coach, and that's what he's looking for. So let's see if we can maybe uh, pick him up. Let's see how far down we can go in salary here. So looks like we can maybe get him for 610. All right. So we got one. There's our big man coach. Post D. So we're looking for somebody who's uh, more defensive centric. But again, I don't have a lot of money. So we are going to have to <laughs> just do kind of as little as possible just to get somebody. Yeah, like 700K is way too much. I'm only gonna put him on a one-year deal just because I'm not too worried about getting the, the some of these guys on, on big long-term contracts because I'm probably not gonna keep him around for that long. Uh, he, he declined our first offer. All right, so 600 was not good enough. 610? 610, all right. We have 1.86 million left to go. We're probably going to lose out on one of these because I, like I said, I need a little bit of money for the rest of the staff. So it's either a wing whisperer or perimeter D coach. Uh, I'm gonna probably be spending, I don't know, I would say probably close to 600K. Let's see what we got for a wing whisperer. We'll see if there's any on the market right now. All right, so there's some. Not exactly the best. Here's one that's just kind of right across the board. Analytics is up. Okay, I mean, that's not too bad. He has a lot of charisma. 800K is what he's looking for. So we can get him on 644 is what he's looking for. Let's see if we can offer him a little bit less. That way we have a little bit more money. All right, so we're gonna have to probably do the 644. All right, so we have 1.2 million left and we have a ton to go. I think right now we probably won't do foreign because the foreign scouts, the good ones, and, and scouting is something that you, you do want to have some good ones in place. They're really expensive. Um, when I fired up just to like test things out, like they were like 800, 900,000. So it's like, holy cow. So I think I'm gonna stick to just some domestic scouts. Ones that have some good legwork and influence. Cheap. See, just like that. 155K, beautiful. Sign me up for him. Um, let's get one more at least, and then we'll see what we get. We'll see what we get once we fill the other positions. All right, this one's not too bad, Irvin Lyons. Not too bad for getting potential. Influence, legwork, charisma's good. We can get him on another cheap contract. Four years, 130,000. Perfect. All right, so we got a couple scouts just for now. We just got a couple of scouts for now. So we have 900K to work with, and the big thing coming up is our sports medicine. And this kind of stuff really, really, really comes in handy. Just like if you go on a skid, you can kind of keep morale good. You can kind of keep them well rested, things of that nature. So all of these things really come in handy especially for the grueling long season. So we'll go right down the board. We'll start with a strength trainer and let's see how much, let's see how much these actually, let's see how much these cost. So if we got like a really good strength trainer, not too bad, 206K. That's actually not too bad at all. Let's see if there's any though that are a little bit, okay, the stamina trainers are a little bit, not too bad though. So we're not gonna be able to fit all of them unless we get somebody who just isn't, you know, the best, this could be, this could be, this could be a tough go of things, honestly. Um, let me see if there's a strength trainer down here. Let's see how much like a, not average, but like a little bit. Wow, he actually wants more, okay. So we're gonna have to kind of go through here and see if there's any like cheaper strength trainers because I really can't afford to put a whole lot of money in because I only have 900K to work with. Oh, we can actually get this guy dirt cheap. I don't wanna do, I definitely don't wanna do four years though. All right, so we got a strength trainer here. He's pretty just even across the board. So we'll bring him in. I think the big ones are going to be like sports psyche because we're probably not gonna have the best of season. So trying to keep morale up a little bit better is, is always a, a good thing to do. 
So I think Sports Psych and also Stamina Trainer is probably going to be pretty good. Even though we have younger guys and young legs, we want them in as much as possible. So we're going to try to fill these two at least. Fill these two. And then we're going to go from there. If we can get a foreign scout, that'd be great. But I'm pretty sure we're not going to have the money for it. What about for a really good trainer here? Stamina Trainer. Like what, we, what can we get him for? 184? Okay. I mean, that's actually not too bad. I'll take that. All right, let's do Sports Psyche here. We'll get somebody who's a little above average. What can we get you for? Not too bad. Not too bad. 165. Okay. Oh, it says we have no more budget left. Wait, what? Wait, where'd all the budget go? I had like 600K, didn't I? Oh, okay. I guess we lost everything. Oh, oh, we have the maximum number of staff. Oh man, I didn't even think about that. So you really have to pick and choose who you want here. Like, do we want more coaching staff or do we want more sports medicine or do we want more scouting? Okay, that's interesting. I bet because there is a thing like a, a skill tree within the franchise for the GM, I bet I can unlock more staff. That's gonna be my hope at least. Okay, I actually just looked through the entire skill tree and uh, that's a negative. So you have 17 ta staff. You better pick and choose what more you want. I'm gonna stick with a, a bigger coaching staff than anything just to coach up some of these younger guys. But now that I know I have a little bit extra money, I think I'm gonna go out and spend that extra money, of course, on a little bit better of a coaching staff. All right, so we're gonna pick up a new wing whisperer. So we have a lot of wingers. We have a lot of young talent, point guard, shooting guard, small forward. So I'm gonna do wing whisperer. We're gonna get somebody a little bit better to work on offense, defense. So right here, Herb Collins is probably a really good, a really good choice because he has both offense and defense. If I could get somebody with a little bit more potential though, that'd be great. Here we go. This is a guy kind of right across the board. Wait, do I even need, do I even need defense? Cause there's a perimeter D coach. Oh my gosh. So we got to go all offense here. Basketball IQ is high. Potential's high. Offensive coaching's high. All right. We're going to go with this guy. Rex Chambers. We're going to try to get what he wants is down as much as we can. Cause we can put that budget somewhere else. 744k. Sounds good. Post D, get him out of here. We have a, we still have a little bit more money. We have 938,000 to work with now. So we still got a bit. So let's go up here and see what kind of big post D guy we have. Defensive coaching's good. We'll go right here. 938, he'll take less. How much less though? That's the question. A bit less actually. All right, so we got to 738. And then finally, we can get rid of the big man coach. I'm glad that we have, we actually have the uh, the budget. That's, 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 that's good. Cause I thought I was actually going to run out of budget. So we got a big man here, Wagner. Offense coaching's up, basketball IQ's up. He'll take the money that we have left. He'll take a lot less. All right. So here it is. This is our final makeup here. Coaching staff. We got a couple of scouts. I would like to have more, but We'll stick with this and we'll just see what it does for us. Uh, here's the sports medicine that we have. And yeah, that's the staff worked out. All right, so now on to individual training. And uh, looking through a lot of these, they're actually pretty good for what I am needing. Um, Sadiq Bey is, doesn't have the greatest of offensive abilities, so getting a little bit of training for him there. Um, the entire offense is going to be running through Kate Cunningham, so getting him some offensive prowess is actually a very good uh, thing to do. Um, and everything else... Because the way that the Pistons are set up, they don't have a ton of offense. They have a decent amount, but not a ton. So kind of like putting everything more into offensive um, for the most part, especially for point guards, shooting guards, because the way that the offense is set up through Dwayne Casey runs a lot through the point guards and the shooting guards. So having those guys be kind of offensive a little bit have a little bit more of an offensive prowess is a, is a good idea so i'm actually okay with the training for now i might change this as the uh the season goes on but for now this is actually pretty good now there's this thing so 
this is probably going to be a complete learning experience for me, setting up everything. Because you can set morning, afternoon, and evening sessions for every day in the week. So probably gonna have to get some sleep in at some point, but you can actually come in here and, and, and set it all. You can do con conditioning, low, medium, high intensity. You can scrimmage, you can shoot around, you can study film, you can do team bonding, you can even do injury, rehab, or body work. So I think this is something that's gonna be very fluid depending on like what's going on in the season. Um, right now, I, I'm not I'm, I'm not gonna jump too heavy into this just because it's, you know, new year. I kind of want to see, you know, what ends up, what ends up happening. I'd like to do maybe even like one day a week doing like a team bonding, which actually probably isn't a bad idea. Um, so we can do like every Thursday evening, we do a team bonding so that we can get the overall chemistry up for us. Get some rest too every Thursday. Let's do that for now. I'll just set that every Thursday. And if this is something that needs to change, then we can just always change it for sure. But I have a feeling this is going to really, really, really uh, come down to how much you want to kind of just beat the team around and how much you want to rest them. I'm going to jump into this is probably going to take me like three hours to jump into. So I'm not going to do it for this video, but this is actually really cool. Uh, I don't know if it was here last year. It might have been. I'm not sure. But this I like this. Uh, I like this. This is actually a really good RPG element. It reminds me kind of NBA or not NBA uh, NFL 2K5, like setting weekly stuff like how much time you want to put in and stuff like that. It kind of gives me a little bit of that feel. We'll just see how it actually plays out throughout the season. All right, so we have a couple of tasks that's been uh, set forth for um, the governor, the owner, um, the coach, and the CFO. So let's see what they want to do. Head coach Dwayne Casey says uh, we should flip one of our expirings for some assets. So let's move either Ronnie McGruder, McGruder or Corey Joseph. So... Some of our older players on the team, they want to flip for some assets. So I can do that. That's that's easy. Like, I can do that easily. So we'll just say, yep, we'll do that. Um, I know we're working on all kinds of things, but I think the guy's confidence would get a huge boost if we went on a three-game win streak. Uh, I'm not going to make any promises for that, honestly, because this Pistons seems young. They're not the greatest. There's a lot of teams that are better. So going on a three game win streak would probably be a little bit tougher. He says, I agree, but that kind of thing is completely out of my control. Then why ask me for it, dude? Why ask me for it? Oh no, I said that. Okay, okay, okay. I said that. All right. Well, if there's anything you can do, I think it would go a long way. All right. So get a three game win streak by the end of the season. Ah, we might be able to do that by the end of the season. We could probably do that. I hope. CFO's also going to ask, we really need to improve our wins and losses for this season. Limit our losses in the near future. I don't know how many losses it's going to limit us to. Uh, I'm, again, not going to make any promises and uh, see what he says. Do not lose more than 51 games. Again, that should be easy with the youth and uh, the staff that we have. I think we can do that. And then finally, the governor says, I'd like you to get some more draft picks in the coming draft. Okay, don't give me too many. We'll get a ton of picks. How many do you want? I want us to have two lottery picks entering the next draft. That could be difficult, but I mean, I'll try. I'll try. That could be extremely hard. Let's see what happens. And then finally, all we have left is what we want to do for badges, who we want like all of our players to train under. So I'm going to start with, I want quick first step for sure. Hyperdrive actually isn't that bad uh bailout badge is driving in for layup and passing and that's actually not a bad one to have either special delivery is just alley oops um i'm okay with actually just these joseph's the best one to learn from too so we have killian hayes very young sneak bay is going to be learning from jeremiah grant fearless finisher is a great one acrobat's good too put back boss is also a good one. I just don't know if that's the best one. I think I'd rather do Slithery Finisher instead of Putback Boss for Bay. Um, Grant, we're not going to do anything with for now. So I'm definitely finding that part of the problem is with having such a youthful uh, organization is there's not a lot, of, a whole lot of mentors that you can do. <laughs> there's not, there's not a whole lot of mentoring you can do because uh, everybody is young. This actually might be all we're gonna be able to do. Actually, no, okay. Isaiah Stewart can can get some here. Limitless spot up, set shooter, and catch and shoot. 
I'm good with those for now. Yeah, that's really it that we have. Okay. So we might have to pick up some veteran talent maybe some some point down the road unless they, you know, get the badges as the season goes. We'll have to see we'll have to see what happens here. This uh this is probably going to be pretty interesting. And we are ready for our first game. We're going to be going up against the Chicago Bulls. We are going to be player locked as Cade Cunningham. So hopefully we can have a good rookie debut for Cade and I don't know facilitate the offense get some points scored maybe hit a couple of threes playing on i'm playing on all-star difficulty currently just because again i kind of suck so this is going to be a little bit of a learning experience i'm probably gonna brick a lot of shots i do have to learn Cade's shot as well but let's go out let's see what we can do with our first game <laughs> i have music turned off <laughs> I don't know what's copyrighted or not, so I have it turned off. <laughs> this is awkward. <laughs> God, every team is going to be so much better than us. Every team is going to be so much better than us. Oh, come on. Give me my first assist already. That would have been great. No. Oh, good. Great defensive play right there. Okay. We're starting down, but that's all right. No. All right. We got to get used to that. That went a little bit slower than I thought it was going to. That went a little bit slower than I thought it was going to on that layup. All right. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. That was a wide open layup. I definitely shouldn't have bricked it. Oh, why didn't we switch off there? Dude, he was hung, he was hung up so bad on that pick. I switched up and he just said, nope. He said, nope. Now here's Jackson. Six to shoot. There's the pass to Grant. Launches it. Drills it from outside. Okay. Hey. Assist number one. Here we are. I'll take it. I will definitely take it. Oh. Yes. Oh, come on! Come on, dude. I read that line the whole time. Oh, boy. Ah, uh, I came in. I came in to try to get that. Yes! Good D, good D, good D. Actually, great D. Holy cow. Ah. Just running the offense. Just five to shoot. Uh. Oh, get out of my way. I'm locked onto that guy. Oh, I almost, I almost got absolutely burned right there. Ah, slightly late. Oh, slam at home. There we go. I was slightly late. I got. I just got to get used to. I got to get used to Cade's shot a little bit more. I was slightly late there. Not by much though. We'll get there. Are we staying in or are they taking me out? Looks like they're keeping me in. All right. Detroit basketball. I love that they got the announcers in. Getting the PA guys in is really, really neat. Ah. Oh, I wanted to get a pick in there. Oh, I thought I had it there. Now I got Jack one up. 
Oh, almost nailed it. I thought I thought I had him on baseline there. That sucks. That's one thing I'm gonna have to really work on, like throughout this game, is uh, my dribbling because I I need to watch some like YouTube videos on it or something. Like it's not like it. It's just I need to get good, better at stringing together stuff, you know. Oh no! Way, way, way late. That shooting, the shooting meter is really strange. It, like changes? I don't know. It's interesting. This isn't the greatest of. Uh... Oh, get get fucking rejected! <laughs> God dang, dude! I gotta, I gotta really, I gotta really get used to. The, Get to uh, get used to everything. Holy cow! Nice post move. Nice freaking post move. Yeah, we'll get there hopefully with the shot and everything, the layups, all that. All right, got some decent defense going. Not the best, but we're keeping them where we need to do. Detroit's gotten just two of six to fall from three-point range so far in the first. Stewart with the screen on ball. Cunningham oh. to Stewart. Kicks it out to Grant. Not the best. Ooh, that's an ugly shot. Kind of like my pass. An ugly ass pass, too. The pass to ball. Oh. Takes the three. Good. And it's DeRozan picking up the assist. I switched off during the fast break and they just switched players back. God dang it. God dang it, dude. All right, looks like we're getting taken out for the first time here. All right, we're into the second now. 22 to 18. That's not too bad. I'm doing 10 minute quarters too, by the way, and uh, we're doing all stats are, are also simulated. So like they'll simulate up to 12. We're doing 10 minute quarters. They're simu simulating up to 12. We're gonna see how that works. Oh boy. Oh boy. This is what we've come to expect from Zach Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That looks really cool. All right. You know, one thing NBA 2K has always had is charging. They have some very very good presentation they've had good presentation for years now i came off a little hard around that uh around that uh that pick second quarter of basketball about one minute played so far Now, here's Cunningham. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. There's the three. Ah, that play, like, that play kind of broke a touch. Usually when you don't get the pass off, if it's not there, they'll, like, reset or keep going um, with the play and do another, like, transition of the play, but... That did not happen. Oh! Oh my god. Okay. God dang. Dude, I was just coming through the lane and the defense actually like poking out like in the lane. Uh, get up there. My defender, who was a center, was a little too fast to me, but... Easy. Easy. Way too easy. Just all day. Oh, come on! I actually got that down good! Oh. That's tough. Oh my god, I thought I actually made a good drive there. Damn it. There is uh there isn't really any Stewart with the screen on ball. 
Aww. Okay, Joseph. We are 8 of 27, and I think I'm 0 for 5. <laughs> we'll get there. Like I said. This is gonna be this is gonna be painful. This is gonna be painful to start for sure. Oh my god, they actually won't run a play out, huh? That sucks. I was hoping if I went up and uh, actually screened for him, he'd actually run like a pick and roll of some sort, but they don't. You were, oh, this is good. Yes. What? What? Like the ball was on the ground. How do they call a reach in foul there? Excuse me? Oh, Grant's running an ISO here. Alright, so, uh, we had a pretty bad first half. We had a pretty, 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 pretty bad first half there. Kane's doing bad. I really hope that at some point he says, the guy who's controlling this team absolutely freaking sucks at this game. And, uh, honestly, I just want a new person to control the team right now. That's all. That's what I wanted to say. Dang, Grant? 19 points, two blocks. Here we are. Uh, yes. That was me. All right, let's get off to the second half. Hopefully I'm better. From the first half, he has been very efficient. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along. Man, I haven't seen, has DeRozan done anything this game? I feel like we played a little bit of lockdown on him. I haven't seen him really do anything. Oh, uh, he got him to leave his feet. Oh, boy. Oh, uh, Iso with Grant. God dang, Grant. Okay. You know, if there's one thing that I'm happy about, my defense is actually been okay what is going on what is going on i'm actually like completely locked in between people that was ugly dude i was like glitched in between two people like player locked that was really weird switch off switch off good defense uh we we didn't have anybody there for the, the glass though god dang it i was actually those are decent switches there Defense seems like it's it's like actually a lot of improved to where it was. Um, I played it a little bit last year, not too much. Defense definitely seems improved. Like defense matters a little bit more. A lot more hands while you're driving. A lot more, a lot more hands in the way, you know, to 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 get your drive through. Playing a little bit more like people. That makes sense. Grant is becoming an offensive powerhouse. I think what I'm gonna do take some time like going into like an actual practice facility with Cunningham and getting his jump shot down and doing some drives against people and stuff like that. Just because uh there's ball with the three. He doesn't this hasn't been great. Now here's Cunningham. He's covered by ball. Nice dish. Nice, dude. That was a good dish right there. Good switch offs. Those are pretty good switch offs. As ugly as Cunningham, because. We finally got in on a pick. Here we are. First bucket. <laughs> Halfway through the third. Jeez, oh, Pete's. Not good. Nah, that was off Cunningham. I actually got a hand on that one. You don't got a lot of time. They got to go. 
20 in free throw percentage. And he was the consummate playmaker last season. Easy board for us. Oh. Diallo's checked in for the piston. Kicks it to Jackson. To the inside from six feet. Damn. with the block. I will say that the like the picks and the play like uh, overall all the, the all the plays and everything they run so much smoother. Wow, running a little ISO here with DeRozan. No way he gets that off. Off the mark and the drop continues. Cole's bill, but the struggles continue. You know, to me, this is when you want to focus on creating for others. Give someone else a chance. It's called a teammate. Oh man, that's the thing. Like it. Well, so far, this cold night from the field. Okay, all right, we got that shot in. I just gotta work on layups, layups and driving. His shots actually not too bad at all. It's some of them are like really weird. Some shots are real strange, but Cades is actually quick and compact and pretty solid. Oh, that's that's a huge screen on me. Yuck! I need to be more aware of that. Not good. I don't know what that play was. It wasn't an ISO. Nice D, dude. Detroit leading by ten. Cunningham then back to Diallo. Inside. Here's Stewart. Johnson with the block. And they get it back. That was severely contested. Woo! I had I just had to get it up. I had to get it up. Eight point lead. Here we are. I'm starting to come alive just a touch. All right. We made a couple of good shots. I'm feeling pretty good about that. All right. We got thrown on the bench. Fourth quarter just started. We have an 11 point lead now over the Bulls. No, I. Fuck. I wanted to pass that off. As you're trying to help your team. I wanted to pass that off so bad. We're shooting 30% from the field right now. I really wanted to just draw off people and, and dip it down to my big man, but I really messed that up. Gotta do better. Man. It's it's really I got to get used to the shooting meters interesting like it, It's uh, it confuses me a touch Like it changes. I just got to get used to timings timings depending on shot There's no way yeah, I get that shit out of here Olenek. Oh. Just just stepped out of bounds. Olenek's not a not a great big guy. He, he he's he's more of an outside presence stretch. Our defense though, I'm not gonna lie, our defense has been our defense has been stellar. Oh, that was ugly. I guess I just think they're going to be... I think Cade's going to be stronger going in on a drive. But he's he's not. He gets kind of... He gets pushed around a bit. So I just got to be... I got to be conscious of that. I got to be conscious of that. Momentum's a little bit different. Damn. Got a little too cute. What are we doing? Why? Why, Olenek? Why, dude? What the hell was that? Slam it. Oh. oh my god, I was actually... I was open there. Not there. 
Honestly, I'd rather give it off. I'd rather give it off to somebody else who has a better chance of making it than me right now. Because we're as cold as ice. That is such a... Those are two gigantic screens. Oh, that was ugly looking. Somebody get over to him. Who cold as ice, willing to sacrifice our love. Overall, the team in general is playing a pretty good, pretty good, uh, pretty good game today, right now. I mean, Grant is carrying hard. What a steal! What a freaking steal, dude! I want to try a pick and roll. And uh, that didn't work out too well. Uh, bad, bad, bad switching right there. They'll probably take me out and bring me in at the end. No, nope, we're still in. All right, we're keeping us in. Get her into Grant. Thank you, David. Man, I just wanted him to pass it down into Grant so he could get a little post shot since he has the hot hand right now. But instead, he threw it up to the top of the key. Me, damn it! What a block, dude! Defense, defense is slightly stifling right now. I like this a lot actually because I feel like uh, this team is definitely more of an offensive-minded team than defense. So this feels great. Yes. Butter it. Ah, oh, man. 16th rebound. Hello. Oh, my God. He just crossed him up hard. Good defense, though. What a what a play. I'm not sure how that was considered open, but. They won't. They won't. They just won't do it. Yeah, I gotta get. I gotta get my. I gotta get my dribbling skills down, like by a lot. Easy. Good. 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 If we can win our first game. That'd be great. Even though I have not been playing great. If we could win our first game, that'd be great. Man, Vucevic is glass cleaning like a monster. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, the camera turn screwed me. Ooh, I should have sat. I should have sat. That was my bad. No, we're beating it. We're beating it until the wheels come off, dude. On the wing, Jackson. Nice board. Great board. There's a screen. Man, I thought that was beautiful. Cunningham doesn't have the best outside touch right now, but dang it, dude. I'm actually, it's it's because I'm just cold, cold, cold. No way. Wow, Vucevic, like, pushed off there. What was that? Yes. All right, I'm not taking any more shots, dude. Oh, almost got the rebound. Oh, you got to get out on Levine. Good D. Just great, great D. Okay. I definitely don't know his free throw shot. That's a shot I had to take. I didn't have a choice. I said I wasn't going to take any more shots. I had to take that shot. Oh, gosh. This is big, too, because we only have a two-point lead. What's his free throw shot? 
What is it? Not bad. It's actually not bad. Oh my god, that was bad though. Oh my god, they took us out. We missed the end. No! <laughs> we missed the end. They wouldn't let me watch. Hey, win's a win. All right? Win's a win. I mean, this is an easy choice right here. My man tore it up, dude. Tore it up. Big time. Great on D, too. Oh, I don't even... Do I want to even want to look at this? All right, Grant, 32 minutes, 27 points, six boards, two blocks, and two steals. Pretty freaking good. Isaiah Stewart, first game of the year, had himself a double-double. So that's actually, we take those. I had 27 minutes. I went 3 of 15 from the field. 3 of 15 from the field. Um, I had seven points, four boards, one assist, one steal, and a block. So not the best showing. Uh, Not the best showing at all. But... My plus minus was negative 11. Ah. That's really disgusting. But Grant, big day for him. Now I just got to go practice. Yes, we're talking about practice. We're talking about practice, AI. But uh, there it is. That is game number one in the books of the Pistons franchise. We'll be back at some point, hopefully this week. I want to try to get two of these out a week, so we'll be back at some point this week. Thank you so much for stopping by. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. Uh, if you did enjoy the Pistons franchise, make sure to leave a like on the video. Think about subscribing to the channel if you haven't yet, because we're going to be doing a lot more 2K content again here and also on the stream at twitch.tv slash respawn TV. But thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for stopping by and giving me your time. I hope you have a great rest of your morning afternoon or evening wherever you are in the world and i will catch you on the next one